welcome to another episode of Kid Chronicles News. I'm Ava. And I'm Savannah. This Sunday we'll get an extra hour of sleep when daylight savings time ends. But how does that work? Who decided we could just have a 25 hour day on a Sunday? We learned in our last episode that the ancient Romans and many other agrarian societies adjusted time according to the seasons all, all the time. But since they didn't have clocks or watches, no one really made anything official. Even in cities, businesses were open during daylight, but not necessarily according to a specific time on a clock. Once railroads made standardized time more popular, different people all over the world thought we should be able to make changes to, to the time to be able to use more daylight hours. A bug scientist from New Zealand asked his government in 1895 to shift time two hours in the winter so we'd have more daylight, tower, daylight hours to hunt for bugs. In, in, in an English outdoorsman, William Willett, proposed in 1906 a one-hour shift of, of a clock that fewer people would sleep through daylight hours and he would have and he would have more time for golfing in the evening. <laughs> a few Canada a Canada cities tried it out in 1908 but it didn't really take off at first. It was World War I that finally caused the country to make it official. In 1916 the German Empire shifted the clocks forward in April in order to conserve the candles and oil for the war effort. The United Kingdom, France, and other European countries decided to do the same thing. Over the next two years of war, many countries around the world joined in. The United States used daylight saving time for seven months of 1918 before the war ended. The United States shifted the clocks again in 1942 when World War II is underway. President Franklin D. Roosevelt enacted wartime until September of 1945, then switched back from standard time. Finally, in 1966, Congress approved the Uniform Time Act, where on the last Sunday of, in April, clocks would spring forward, and on the last Sunday of October, clocks would fall back. There was an energy crisis in the 1970s, so the U.S. Congress ordered a year-round daylight saving program to conserve energy. It didn't actually really conserve energy at all. So in October of 1974, they switched back to standard time again. Woo! Then in 19, then in 1987, they decided to try again. Daylight savings time happened on the first Sunday in April ended on the last Sunday in October. This ran until t t um, 2006 when Congress decided to keep the idea but move the dates. So now it runs from the second Sunday in March through the first Sunday in November. Not everyone likes it though. Two U.S. states, Arizona and Hawaii, don't observe daylight saving at all and other states talk about not following it either. It's hard to readjust schedules so anyone who works at an overnight job has to work an extra hour in the fall, and it's annoying to have to reset all the clocks in your house. So how long will daylight savings time last? Only time it will tell! Thanks for learning about daylight savings time with us. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you don't miss our next episode. Bye! Bye.